Ah, uh, yes, hello everybody, you wonderful people, and welcome to Mill Road Opnum Edition. What makes this custom map so special? Well, it has a uh, day cycle, because as the game progresses, the sun will rise even more than it actually is. Anywho, let's introduce our players, shall we? We have... In the blue, playing as the Soviets, it is Helpern the Elpern. And he is up against Inca number Una 1, playing as, you know, that would be the Austria. Yes. Uh, commander wise, what are they bringing along? We have Jaeger Infantry, Festung Armor, and Lightning War. Meanwhile, Elpern, his loadout, we have Guard Motor, Defensive Tactics, and Armored Troop. Well, not armored troops, airborne troops. <laughs> hmm. Dropping tanks from above. <sighs> ah, yes. Early in the morning and people here, they're just, you know, moving out, getting their daily routine started, capping territory, laying down sandbags, barbed wire and whatnot. I don't know what Inca Una's plan is to do here. Huh? Oh, it's to deny sandbags. Right. The Soviet sandbags. Got it. <clears throat> Anywho, these two players here didn't um, waste a lot of time, you know, before actually getting into the shooting. We do see that um, El Pern is up against a garrison here. And how many of them are actually returning fire? Three of them by the looks of it, so it's three versus two, three. Uh, machine and Gewehr, bereit für den Angriff, yeah, it fires down here, got some suppression. And Inca Una, he is closing in, while well, he is also trying to defend his um, heavy machine gun from uh, the conscript flank there, but it should be able to set up uh, in a safe position and get some chip damage going onto these conscripts might actually suppress this guy here doesn't appear to be that much in cover but alas no suppression yet and Elpern he disengages without getting suppressed so good on him looks like Elpern he is expecting a, an attack on his cutoff point but Inca Una is not going in to bite he's not taking the bait despite him having pushed uh, one squad back so he's like nah I'm not really feeling it instead he opts to stick around grab the middle and Elpern being a little sneaky boy here going in for a decap himself but the grins puts that foot on the ground that's it nine nine that's good sneaked and so um, yeah the combat engineers they're like Nyet! and then they rush back to base uh, very politely, not taking great care not to push that poor grenadier out of the way. <clears throat> run! And run. Lots of exercise being done here for the troops. It is still early in the morning. The sun has yet to rise. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, he should, he should make it. He'll, he'll be fine. Back off has also arrived here. Lots of grins coming in to shoot the conscripts in the back but yeah with six men they are very likely to return back to base in good health didn't actually lose any models so hmm. do we have yeah medics they are on the field so only health damage done no resources lost airborne troops has been selected for elperns and um in about one Command point, and we'll see uh, weapons being uh, dropped from the sky. And yeah, Ilpern, he's actually has uh, quite a bit of munition stockpiled. Man, did you see that? That was one heck of a good, um, good grenade. And again, these part wires here being very, very annoying. And oh, Inca Una up against the. Uh, early grenade tech from Elpern here despite the um, no vehicles so uh, yeah but at least you can utilize his um, 
Molotovs. And again, no green cover here for the conscripts to um, utilize. And thus, they were easily pushed off. They wanted to retreat before, you know, taking damage from the HMG, which could have easily suppressed them. <clears throat> I think... No! Inca Una may just have been able to actually win that engagement if he didn't do that uh, little move. Because cover doesn't matter when you're up this close here. Or maybe he was afraid he was... I don't know. Would have been trapped or something like that. I'm not sure why he did that little move. Huh. Getting pushed off here. These grins are in green cover. And this cover here has been denied. Oh, rifle grenade special, but Inca Una cancels it. And thus, sort of baiting Elpen to, um, you know, retreat in order to dodge the grenade. First plane has arrived, and there's the package. The package has been secured. First SVT rifle of many are on the ground. He'll probably also be calling in a, um, a Disca heavy machine gun to help him out. Surely that would also be uh, beneficial for Elpern. And he would still have enough munitions to call in another one when uh, he drops the Disca. It does cost a little bit of manpower to get that one dropped. In addition to munitions, but... Second plane, second SVG rifle, and the 2 to 2 is just about to hit the field here. Well, it is actually still on the field, but you know, now it's starting the shooting. And Elburn brings along a um, SIS gun that should make short work of the 2 to 2. The 2 to 2 is not known for tanky. Oh, another light post. Uh, Ruined. Hmm. Combat engineers bracing themselves for the arrival of the 2 2 2, and there it is. The 2 2 2 might not actually be able to do much against the conscript, so I think he's deliberately targeting the, um, the sandbags here just to get rid of that green cover. Yeah, he did. Now actually giving chase here, uh, allowing the sandbags to still stand, but with reduced health so um the next time anyone takes cover behind there the two to do will uh, easily be able to destroy that sandbag wall more sandbags going down here elpen he just can't get enough of them <clears throat> an attempt is being made at the cutoff point but yeah elpen he's got his troops ready and through the fire the grins will escape Oh, machine gunner. Caught these conscripts here trying to get around and get some flanking going. <clears throat> I feel a sneeze is coming on. <clears throat> I think I've weathered the, the sneeze. Also, do notice that um, the graveyard here has also received some changes in the Autumn Edition. The wall that provided green cover here, for instance, is has been replaced with uh, some light cover and this little uh, wreck of the car has been added you know making it um, in sync with down here you know where there's this pile of rubble providing green cover oh another SVG rifle here Elpern he's on a fast track of equip uh, equipping his conscripts with the SVT rifles <clears throat> rather than spending some munitions on the, the Disca HMG here and one, two, three, four, four grins, four Inca Una. And now he just locked in Feshtung armor, giving him access to the um, more armored Panzer IV, the one with the side skirts. Plus the very handy dandy Panzer Tactician, which uh, will give uh, the tank another shot at escaping once the concealment smoke has been popped. Inca Una. Two grins up here. He's anticipating some sort of reaction from Elpern, who is sending up one squad. Hmm. They do carry SVT rifles, and mm, yeah, we have yet to see 
any LMGs on those two squads up there, but they are being issued right now, those uh, LMGs. Do keep in mind that Inca Una has also been spending his uh, munis on other stuff, such as the uh, rifle grenades, I suspect. Oh no! That he also spent some munitions on the medic bunker, but maybe he should have spent that on a morgue for that guy. Ooh. Do we have? Yeah, we do have a medic bunker down there for them. And in Kahuna, he's just replacing his lost grenadier squad immediately. Fuel wise, is actually looking pretty good for Inca and. Yeah, he has the fuel that he needs to take up. And speaking of taking up, Elpern is in fact doing the very same here, getting his tank of a battalion command down. <clears throat> but I don't think he'll be going for a, uh, any light tanks or vehicles here. He'll just plant his uh, mechanized armor company after uh, the tank of a battalion command goes up because, you know, he's got the fuel, he's got the manpower. In fact, he got a very good amount of manpower. Ah, uh, yes, the joys of playing the Soviets. You don't have to worry about manpower. Unless you, uh... Don't go conscripts. That's the thing about conscripts. No matter how many you kill, there'll always be more. Yep, mechanized armor company are down. And Ingauna has yet to tech up. He needs to click that button and, uh escalate up to battle phase 2 before he can put down his support armor corps. And would you look at this? I actually think uh, the sun is rising. It looks a tad brighter than the beginning of the match actually. AT gun. The 2-2-2 two -two -two misses. Oh! Mine there and they are working to disable it while on the fire and didn't quite get it. <clears throat> Luckily for them, the AT gun didn't set off the uh, anti-personnel mine. That would have been uh, rather bad for their uh, life expectancy. Dish cap. Now that all the SVT rifles have been uh, distributed among the conscripts, the uh, first dish cap, probably uh, the only one maybe, I don't know. Is on the field and perfectly timed here, allowing uh, these newly built or trained combat engineers to pick it up. Back on the action here, these conscripts here got a, an order to move up here, and by Stalin they did, running through the LMG gang. Oh, LMGs need to focus down these boy here. They are one full more burst there could have ended them, I think. <clears throat> Pack on on the scene just in time to deal with the T-34 as it is just onto the field here um, Timber and that my friends is something that these grenadiers really can't do too much about they need AT support and That was what uh, they could amount to of damage to the T-34 one panzer faust delivered, but uh Sadly, the pack gun didn't get a shot in, thus no engine damage was done. In fact, very little damage was done, and the T-34 is eager to get into uh, more action here. It didn't even wait for uh, the, the finishing touches of its repairs to be done. Hmm. Still needs two more shots before... Yeah, down to one shot. But nevertheless... The T-34 makes it escape. Resources, I see, yes. Support armor corps going down and um, by the time it'll be finished, I believe we will see a Panzer Ford J model for Inca And that should definitely have the upper hand when it comes to uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the T-34, which is sitting there currently being repaired the extra armor on the j model should give it the edge in that matchup and it's not like the t-34 is known for its superb penetration rate and color me surprised inkauna actually went for the 
ASIC Panzer IV? I mean, if he cancelled it, he would have enough fuel, manpower, but... He may be going for uh, the number advantage, or at least trying to build up some numbers before he'll uh, throw in a J model in there. And then just count on the Panzer Force just to earn their side skirts, you know? You have to please the commander before you will be given those. Pack crew, just uh, pumping out. And there it is, in all its glory, ready to take on the T-34, which is uh, currently causing a bit of a disturbance down south here. These pioneers here falling back, hoping to uh, bait the T-34 to uh, pursue, but Ilper is not taking the bait. He is content with staying behind the shot blocker. Up north, the 222 has once again been delegated to a clearing green cover and has just now earned its first star. Oh, man. Well, actually, it's working on that promotion. And speaking of which, they did earn that promotion, taking down a conscript squad with Elpern seemingly uh, being occupied elsewhere. More mines. Cheeky cheeky boy. And that one's still there. <clears throat> Do we have any mines around here? Apparently not. Oh, there's one. Another T-34. And Inca Una has gone for a mortar. Well, it ought to help him uh, push the middle because, as you can see, that's where uh, Elpern's team weapons currently are located. Including the uh, very powerful heavy machine gun, the Dishka. And this uh, SIS gun. The field gun doubles as, you know, anti-tank gun and artillery. Anywho, the mortar here has already been doing some damage. Oh, did he spot some mines being planted there? Because that was pretty close. I think so. He still attacked grounding, but so far no success. And now he needs to deal with this flanking T-34 here. This mortar is about to get decrewed. Yep. Well, that was a uh, brief, um, brief moment. It was on the field before uh, the crew got, well, cause of death slaughtered by T-34. Looks like um, this heavy machine gun here might follow the mortar soon. No, the retreat order has been given. And Inca Una, he's... Hmm, one and a half minute away roughly from uh, getting out another Panzer IV and yeah, he needs it. He only has one Panzer IV now to uh, hold off these T-34s and this one is already down to half health and losing the pack gun. Pioneers pick up the pace. Is he uh, a smoke? Yes, Panzer Tactician coming in clutch there. <laughs> you know, it's not just for saving the Panthers. Can also be used to save uh, retreating squads or uh, team weapons that are about to be destroyed, as showcased here by Incauna. Hmm, the mortar is not really um, in fashion right now. It's just being left there on the field, and perhaps Incauna is like thinking, "Eh, forget about the mortar." Said is his uh, lovely Romanian voice. Well, that was unfortunate. Well, damaged engine here, and this one is getting its maintenance done. Those T4s are not going anywhere time soon. Oh, still rushing out here despite uh, being uh, not fully repaired, though. Aggressive play here from Elpern. And now backing off, but oh, lots of infantry here pushing back the Grens actually. And up here, one Gren squad remains in this push. Where's the Dishka? It's just setting up in the right um, angle now. Pushing them back and uh, oh no. Heavy machine gun coming to the rescue. Provide some cover for uh, the escaping uh, pack gun. And my goodness, this um, heavy machine gun is 
slaughtering that squad up close. And it continues to slaughter. You cannot spell slaughter without laughter. We are suffering vehicle losses. Wop wop. And while we were looking at that, looks like we had a bit of a mutual assured destruction here as the Panzer IV and the T-34 both goes down. And one Panzer IV is on the way, but man, the time moves slowly when there is a uh, T-34 uh, stuck in your base. Pack gun. Lining up a shot, no Faust available here, but Elpern takes down the 222 and disengages. He has another one ready here. It's just moving into position right now in order to get in there and finish the job. Still, the clock is ticking. The Panther IV is getting closer for every second that passes. But so is this T-34 here. It's just ramming through the wrecks. Lots of infantry here, plenty of juicy targets. Man, these squads here clumped up and they may be getting squished they are running for their lives pack gun has set up here and with the arrival of the panzer 4 this t-34 is going down south hmm well there is uh the t-34 up here and looks like this pack gun here is toast boom nope try again or not okay okay let's 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 get it right no, come on! Third time's the charm? Ah, uh, he won't have a, another... T won't have another shot. That was kind of embarrassing there, um, T-34. Uh, <coughs> ram -lam! Ram! That was the world's slowest uh, connect. <laughs> Here it comes. A rocket run. Trying to dodge! A little bit of damage. This gun... Did get a shot in, and this combat engineer is running for his dear life, but he didn't run far enough, or fast enough for that matter, and this this gun here is heading out, back to base, and suddenly Inca Una has armor superiority with <laughs> one tank. Ah, ah, ah. So, this is all to give Inca Una. A little more room to maneuver, but Elpern, he is fast on his feet, already on the scene again, and also back here in the middle, where uh, the machine gun is currently cooking. Well, that's one model down. Hopefully they can get treated for their burn wounds before uh, being deployed to the front line. They don't have that much health left, and they may even go down should they um, be caught while not being set up. That's um, a combat engineer, as the uh, two squads that Elpern had, emphasis on had, they were wiped up up north. And you know, these boys here, they may be combat engineers, but they have been um, designated um, machine gunners now. So uh, they just lost their uh, master's degree, their engineering degree, their PhD or whatever. And they are now just soldiers, not engineers. Combat engineers. Run! Facing through the uh, fence there. Very nice. Vibrating at the right frequency to, um, you know, pass the molecules. <laughs> Anywho, Panzer four is fixed up. And it is actually being treated to a uh, machine gun. So Inkauna has faith in uh, this um, Panzer IV staying on the battlefield for um, quite some time. You know, don't want to invest into the penal amount of machine gun if uh, you just want to use it as a um, throwaway. You know, just to um, get things going and engagement going. Moving up, just gonna snatch this VP. Thus, stopping the bleeding for Elpern. VPs are almost even a slight lead for Inca Una. Oh, that was a bad miss. When is a miss ever good? I'm not sure. Well, depending on whose perspective you're looking from. Ah. 
backpack gun finds an angle onto the t-34 the siskons here are caught unprepared for the panzer 4 and its arrival and thus that t-34 is cooking looks good for um inkauna right now and oh yes look at this he might be able to snatch a prize maybe even two these cis guns they need to go down why is he pulling backwards no he i think inkauna could have afforded to be a little more aggressive there regarding this uh cis gun <clears throat> And suddenly open he finds himself with only one Siskon and three conscripts and one combat engineer and a dish cap not giving him uh, or rather leaving him with much at another uh, dish cap has been um, acquired okay i hope um well, it shouldn't be too long before uh, Elpen will press the button and get another T-34. I mean, he already got enough fuel for it. Moving in close to the Panzer IV. And punishment. And punishment. Conscripts got punished by losing two models and the Panzer IV took engine damage in return. Now, Siskon is taking a chance here, moving up with very little support for it. <gasps> this Grand Squad here could go down though. And he gets him! Oh, good pickup for El Pern! Meanwhile, more backup has arrived. A little bit of backup for the combat in. Well, for the Siskon, that is. But uh, it's just combat engineers, and they're green. Fortunately uh, for El Pern, that engine damage is preventing the Panther IV from dancing around the Siskon, but. If the Siskon uh, wants to get in that close, uh, and the dish can too. Man, oh, that barrage from... Th oh my goodness, they're getting slaughtered here. They're just getting slaughtered. Let's see it. Yeah, I think... Yeah, lost um, the Siskon there, the Dishka. Well, actually, both Siskons were lost. He's going in, taking another one here. The Pendulum Mountain Machine Gun is trying to help out. Oh, and this one is hauling down. Not giving chase, though. And here comes the T-34. Just rolling in, hauling down. Will increase its defense. <clears throat> yeah, weapon range and defensive capabilities. <laughs> Riding into this. This gun. Oh, it got picked up just as the Panther IV came into, uh, into view. This is gone here. Uh, waits. Pick up. Hopefully, um, for Inkauna's sake, uh, Elpen won't be stealing that back. That would be rather bad. If um, Elpen gets a um, gets a foothold in this match once again, well, actually, he is about to. But it's sorta even right now. Sorta. Okay, there we go. Got the Siskon under his control. And. No rifle grenade here, as the crew is rather distant. Maybe he could get in one there, but nah, now they've been suppressed. One model remains. Let's see if they can fire. They are being suppressed, lowering their accuracy, I believe. Oh, it's the mine. That was the one he was uh, gunning for, uh, what, like 10 minutes ago, but didn't hit. And that came back to bite him in the behind. <laughs> He's just staying there. He knows he cannot escape in time, but now he believes that he can. Hit. And a bounce, but a hit. And boom. There it was. <sighs> and yes, we are playing on the, the uh, tournament mod, as you saw. The vehicle got abandoned, but due to uh, the... Uh, tournament mod abandons do not um stick around instead they just blow up so pack gun well sis gun rather heading back to base in order to get a little bit of reinforcement done panzer 4 getting its uh, much needed repairs and could be set for the t-34 which uh, will soon be joined by another t-34
Yeah, it's Soviets. That's how them Soviets do. T-34s all day long, especially when you're going um, airborne troops tactics, because combine a ram with the uh, airstrike ability here, that's a ton of damage uh, that you can do to uh, your opponent's tanks. Inkuna feeling um, he's got enough manpower to uh, reinvest. Nope. He cancels his grenadier in favor of a machine gun, giving him double machine gun. And what does Elpern have to um, deal with double machine gun? Well, he got armor and sis gun for a bit of indirect fire. And that would be it. Otherwise, he'll just have to uh, take them out the old fashioned way. Flanking. Triple cap is about to happen for Hikuna, but Ilpern, he is going up there. Oh, man, revealing the mine that were about to be planted. It's currently just being left there for another day. But here are the T-34s, and uh, the Panzer IV is down south when it is needed up north. Um, Pack gun, sis gun. Getting over here, we have one Grenadier squad to protect them. And the T-34, one of them is moving slightly forward here into the into the pack on fire. Double shot. And the Siskon also following suit. Because there it is, the Panther IV has arrived at the scene. A bit of bombardment going on, but uh, Inca Una has already retreated his uh, AG guns back to safety. Hmm. New P4 about to hit the field for Incuna, which should level the playing field. Oh, bounce, bounce, hit. <laughs> duck, duck, goose. Eh, another goose. Yep. Pull back. Come on, come on. Plenty of room back here. Hmm. <laughs> Elpern going down south and while he keeps his um, AT guns up north. That's the thing with these um, shot blockers here. It is a little bit difficult to get your um, AT guns or team weapons into position. <clears throat> and you know, if you want to set them all up there, well, this is such a small area to set up your team weapons if they are to point, say, over there or down here. Hmm, makes them a juicy target for any weapons with splash damage. Like rocket artillery. Disc versus HMG here. One guy has to reload and that, yep. This machine gun pulling back. Just way too much fire coming in on it. Speaking of fire coming in, those pack guns didn't do an awful lot of damage to the T-34s as, well, the majority of shots just missed them. Yeah, infantry squad has been killed, but it were just, in fact, a uh, field gun that got crewed. For some reason, uh, they always say infantry squad. <clears throat> well, at least we got one Panther IV with its side skirts. This one here still has to earn it. Going in here, he wants that veterancy, but oh, catches this one here instead. Gets two of the combat engineers, but getting chased here by the T-34s. Where's the backup? There it was. Back up the looks and even the other Panther IV chipping in here, helping its um, his brother, but Elpern about to go in to do a little bit of poking, but decides against it. And surprisingly, a shot went through here. I thought that was a uh, shot blocker, but eh, there must be a little, tiny little hole there where they can shoot through. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet time. Mm -hmm. Another sis gun, and this T-34 just rolls in onto the field. It's like Elpern haven't had much luck with getting um, more than two T-34s to be on the map at the same time. It's like when he has two, it's... Uh, won't be long before he's about to lose one of them. Or, may, or, you know, as soon as he's about to get a third one, then uh, 
one of the two just dies. Faust commencing. Double Faust actually, but not enough to take it out. He needs one more shot. The pack gun setting up and <laughs> like I said, every time he's had two of them, he is about about to lose one. <laughs> oh boy. Good shot. And good pickup there, even. Driving into this this gun. Is he about to lose his Well, uh, well, at least he took a trade, got a pack gun, so there's that. Free AT guns now for Elpern. Hmm. That auto make him be able to cover some ground. Speaking of covering ground, the HMG here does cover these HMGs here. The suppression could spread to these boys here, but nope, he's just dying at an alarming rate, actually. Hmm. Will he dare to go over there to pick it up? No, he's not. He's not doing it. Or is he? Is the mad lad doing it? No, he wants to stay around here and fight. There's a Molotov. Served burning hot. All 80 guns for Elpern currently escaping. Uh, and these boys here are not taking damage from the fire, luckily for them. Guess what? Elpen has enough fuel and thus going for another T-34. After this game here is over, I want to check on um, on the number of um, T-34s produced. And my webcam is actually being a little bit... I apologize for the shake. There we go. At least now I'm no longer sitting at an angle. Or like that. <laughs> <clears> hmm. <throat> Grins. Yeah, they're down one man. But still a bit free. Mm, and this garrison here will give them some much needed help against uh, these Grins. Well, not Grins, but conscripts. LMG versus SVG rifles. There are six men firing at them. Them in there, one man goes down and the green cover here is about to uh, disappear. Just like that. Turn to even more scrap. Back in base, man, this looks like a graveyard of some sort. Hmm. Had denied some of the green cover there. Very nice, and I wonder, ah, okay, the medicine is still up there, up for grabs, if anyone feel like um, getting a little pick-me-up. Siskon for Inkuna coming down to help. And look at this, three AT guns set up in this little tight spot here. Good thing uh, for Elpern uh, is uh, Inkuna, he doesn't really have... Um, that much uh, artillery. I mean, he could fire Karl Gust out there, but those uh, shells take ages to land. Hmm. One more Panther IV. Hmm. <clears throat> so far, we have seen Inkaruna use a Panzer Tactician and briefly <laughs> hauling down. No Panzer IV J models, though. Hmm. Apparently, Inkuna may not believe in uh, the J model, or uh, perhaps he's just feeling like he wants to have at least two regular ones before he wants uh, a J model. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, that um, green cover there didn't last long. But, okay, there we go, Karl Gustav, he's firing. But Inkauna may be a little bit disappointed here because Elpern, he was quick to react. And um, yeah, that shell didn't really do an awful lot. Second shot, yeah, same thing, really. 
back in base we have a brand spanking new panzer 4 just awaiting orders it'll probably send down south because that's where um elpern and the gang is hanging out he, hmm he could also try to go for the north you know the area up here is more open and that will of course benefit his uh, team weapons rather than having him to uh, play around this uh, shot blocker Four, they are ready to respond to the threat that is on the middle where are the AT guns there's one of them and this little T-34 trying to get some flanking action going but whew, when there is this this gun uh, nearby whew, that's a little bit risky business that's a four nah this gun misses and thus this T-34 here is um, yeah just earned its first star and only needs minor repairs Something that cannot be repaired is uh, these boys here, as they need to be replaced. Up north, let's just check it out what's happening there. A little bit of flanking action for Elpern, pushing up the machine gun that were guarding the VP. Hmm. Okay, we have two T-34s. Let's see if Elpern can keep them alive. Or will he just lose them in... Um, like a speedrunner would. Beating around the bush, almost literally. Both misses. Bravo. Both of you. Oh, that was not many men left in that squad. <laughs> hmm. Well, so far, I think uh, Elpern is not about to lose his T-34s. But while he, Elpern has been losing T-34s and trading them with other Panzer IVs, it looks like actually in Kauna, he'll, he will be uh, up to uh, three medium tanks pretty soon. Hmm. And still no J-model. Hmm. What have they ever done to you? Little Panzer Four, what is your wisdom? A little bit of scouting before going in, and there we go. Been spotted by the weapon crew. Panzer Four will, of course, respond, thus revealing itself to the Siskan. And just like that, Inca Una, he backs off for now, and he's also to get these boys here retreated. Perhaps he did try to send in some of the men there, but. Uh, they were met with resistance of their own and these boys here are currently left to get shot at and yeah they are pins they are not taking reduced damage anymore he needs to retreat and there we go finally got called another grin squad on the way now for uh, inca una hmm well i suppose it's um just him wanting to invest some of his manpower. I mean, it's not like he can uh, get another tank out because of his very low, low fuel. He did cancel uh, his Panther 4 in favor of the J-model, but as um, this game is cursed, neither player can have three medium tanks on the field before losing one of them, bringing them back down to two medium tanks. Hmm. Plenty of shots actually going through... Uh, that little uh, side blocker. Jam da -da -da! In all its full glory, I hope um, the uh, side skirts will do Inca Una some good because he is about to be up against, you guessed it, three T-34s. That is, unless Elpern, he decides to uh, blindly charge this badly damaged T-34 into enemy lines. But I doubt that'll happen. Hmm. Free AT guns for Elpern, free machine guns for Inca Una. My, my, my. See it turning the AT guns here, but the Panther 4 has already left. Not before one warning shot got fired. <clears throat> and another one, which actually hit. And it is moving forward. Fires being laid upon the Sis. 
he yep there we go he gets it and now he needs to turn his attention onto uh the maxim here double uh ag grenades but not enough to actually take out that cis gun that's the power of having six men in your squad if uh some of the other one dies well <laughs> yes the 30 34 is on the field and as the curse will sit one t34 goes down so we are back to two medium tanks here oh my eye. now it's only one that's four. Oh, that bounce that hurts losing the siscon also hurts it hurts man let me just check real quick over here yep I've just been reading uh, Incauna's salt levels and they are in fact rising. Whew. Saltiness. Saltiness. Could also uh, be due to sweat, you know. Sweat. That you know, tastes like salt. Hmm. So, a sweaty game here from both players as they are trying to do their best. And just as I said so, Inca Una walks straight into the middle with all of his grenadiers and thus they got suppressed. Oh, but something good came out of it. He took down a T-34 and we are back to one medium tank for both. A Siskon is there, there. Hmm. Trying. He's still trying here. Okay, gets one of the squads away. There are still a chance here that Inca Una could snatch well, not that one. <laughs> Might be able to get this one? No? Ah, stun shot combined with the uh, Sturmovic strafing run. Devastating attack. Oof, oof, oof. Attempts were made to steal this sis gun, but I don't think it can make it out alive. This machine gun here needs to do some work fast, but not fast enough. And, uh,. Both players are quite even in terms of victory points, but Elpern, he's the one pumping out tanks. Uh, and now this T-34. Yeah, it's just uh, heading in, ready for some base inspection. Ah, uh, hello, my friend. Ah, sind du bereit für deine base inspection? Sit the t-34 here and the men are just scrambling trying not to get run down or you know just avoiding the turret meanwhile again the clock is ticking very slowly as inca una he is keeping his sight on this road up here just waiting for his panzer 4 to hit the field because right about now the the only thing hitting the field is this t-34 and it's having the time of its life here one grand squad is down <sighs> The other Grenadiers have evacuated the base, trying to get a uh, wipe here on uh, this here, but they are returning back to base. This gun, Dishka running back. The Panzer IV finally arrives. Ooh, losing this, I fear Inkauna is at a severe disadvantage here. After having lost his Panzer Force due to that airstrike combined with the target weak shot from his own pack gun. <sighs> well, previously owned pack gun. <laughs> A little bit of fireworks there, but that's not um, what Inca Una needs to lighten his mood. <sighs> what could lighten Inca Una's mood were maybe a battalion of uh, tanks just standing by ready to help out. But um, those things don't come cheap. This Panzer IV here is doing what it can, but goes down. I think Inca Una has tossed the towel in the ring. And thus, he has surrendered. <clears throat> and we're basically just waiting for the server here to catch up. Sync error detected. Game over. All right. So before we munch some stats, I just want to say, remember to like and subscribe. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And uh, let's move on to those 
tasty, tasty stats. And here they are. Elpern almost actually had a positive KD with Soviets as he went with conscripts. And Kauna almost also had a positive KD. Hmm. Wow. Well, well, well. Graphs. Army value. Pretty close, actually. Times when Inca had the upper hand, times when Elpern had. But, uh, yeah, in the end, this was it when um, Inca Una, he lost his Panzer 4J model and then, then he just went down, down, down. Resource float? Kind of even here, Inca Una. Spending the most here in the last part of the stage while Elpern had a bigger stockpile of resources. Points held. Elpern holding the majority of the points, actually. <clears throat> Definitely during the last bit. Units in Kona. Lots of for the Grens. Yeah, the mortar didn't really have much chance to do anything. It was lost rather quickly. Pack gun. Very useful. Lots of damage being done. Even uh, the Sis gun uh, did. Did good. Panzer IV, the J model here. Yeah, it died rather quickly. <laughs> Seven Panzer IVs in total were produced. Meanwhile, the scout car, okay, yeah. decent, decent performance. Now let's check in on Elper and let's see how many T-34s he lost. <laughs> Vehicles, only T-34s. Produced 11, lost nine. Well, that doesn't really surprise me that much. Pack gun, mm, good efficiency. Not a whole lot of variety here for uh, Elpern's <laughs> build. Oh well. Well, that's it for the stats. Catch you later. Adios.